Serving governor is moving out of his office and going home. Governor Dave Heineman and his wife will once again call Fremont home as a new era in Nebraska politics takes shape. Reporter Josh Egbert sat down with the governor for his final interview today. They have called the governor's mansion home for the last 10 years, but that will change tomorrow when the governor says goodbye to the state he loves. He has held the reins for the last decade, and today he went down the list with me of what he believes are his biggest accomplishments. We're the number one economic development state on a per capita basis. More specifically, we're the number one cattle feeding state in America. To job creation. We have the second lowest unemployment rate, 3.1 percent. His job as governor is coming to an end. I feel enormously grateful that I've had this opportunity. Governor Dave Heineman's office is a little bare. His cabinet's now empty. On his desk, just some final paperwork. And in just a few short hours, he'll walk out the Capitol doors for the last time. I feel honored and privileged. I got to serve uh, 10 years longer than anyone else. And every day has been fun, exciting, interesting, and challenging. He became governor in 2005 when then Governor Mike Johans became the nation's agriculture secretary. He then launched two successful campaigns of his own. Move your state forward on the issues they care about. They care about their kids and their family, and they want to make sure they have jobs for their kids and themselves. During his tenure, Nebraska has become one of the best states to run a business and has a solid university system. Recently, the governor has come under intense criticism for the early release of violent inmates in the corrections department scandal. Is that a regret? I don't look at it that way. You deal with the facts and the issues on that particular day, and you'll never have all, every, all the facts, all the, uh, the research you'd like, because some decisions have to be made very quickly. As Governor Heineman prepares to bid farewell, one thing remains a mystery. What's next now that he's not a finalist for UNL president? I'll just have to see what the future holds, but I know it'll be different. The governor says that he most likely will not seek another elected position, but says he will help younger politicians in their journey. Reporting from the state capitol in Lincoln, Josh Egbert, KMTV Action 3 News.